Someone from Virginia is recognized for five minutes on behalf of his amendment. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, my remarks are timely because in my home community uh, within my district, we just had a Mexican restaurant owner, owner of a Mexican restaurant, who, it's my understanding, happens to be an immigrant, who just got penalized $200,000, $200,000 by the federal government for allegedly making some mistakes with overtime pay. If this penalty puts them out of business, the pay for his employees will go down to zero, as will the precious, punitive future tax revenue so highly coveted by the Democrat majority. And yet we want to severely increase these kinds of penalties on employers because of the contempt this committee continues to demonstrate for employers, businesses, and job creators. Heck, let's make it harder for the small businesses in this country to operate, earn a decent profit, and pay those very employees whose families depend on them. H.R. 7701 allows the Department of Labor to impose outrageously inflated civil monetary penalties on businesses of all sizes, even if the violation is merely a technical error or an honest mistake like it was with this Mexican restaurant in my community. This bill drastically increases certain penalties under the, FS, under the FLSA by 900 to 4,900 percent. Let's just call it 1,000 to 5,000 percent. A ridiculous and overly punitive approach to enforcement that will crush small businesses. But heck, who needs a job anyway, right? When this majority wants to pay folks not to work and thinks these mean old business owners probably lied, cheated, and stole to become business owners to begin with. Well, my amendment would exempt the smallest of business owners from the unnecessary harmful and one-sided civil penalties in this bill in order to reduce the risk of bankrupting job creators that don't have the professional human resources staff that the big corporations do, or the access to a team of lawyers in their compliance department to, to interpret these complicated and increasingly complicated federal labor laws. This bill includes unprecedented and extreme penalties that would have a chilling effect on the ability of many small business job creators to offer additional benefits to their workers or force them to close their doors for good because of the new and onerous fines imposed by this legislation. Maybe that's what Democrats want since their COVID policies closed 25% of businesses in Virginia over the last two years. This legislation's regulatory mandates and enormous penalties create immense uncertainty that would exacerbate the historic hardships already facing small businesses around the country in the wake of the Democrat COVID lockdowns. Small businesses make up 99% of U.S. companies and they employ the majority of U.S. workers and account for two thirds of new jobs in this country. These businesses continue to face tremendous and unprecedented challenges. Main Street cannot thrive if Congress continues to significantly increase the cost of doing business by imposing punitive fines, which are unreasonable, expensive, and difficult to challenge. If they can afford to pay them at all, the cost will be passed on to their customers or all Americans. I mean, I know that the president said in the State of the Union address, just lower your costs. Uh, his spokesperson, Jen Psaki, said, don't pass on increased costs to your customers, but let me help uh, the majority party understand businesses don't pay these taxes, businesses don't pay these regulations, businesses don't pay these costs without <clears throat> passing them on to their customers. That's how business works. So I urge my colleagues to support the common sense amendment and to protect small businesses, and I yield back. Gentleman yields back.